What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we're going to be playing around with one of my new favorite decks, which is Cultist Sword Spam. Guys, I cannot believe the wins that we've been able to get with this deck. We're going to be showing it off once again. Shout out to Oliver who just yelled kind of in the middle of my video. I don't know if you could hear him. Rewind and see if you can find it. Guys, I love this deck. I cannot wait for the talents to come out because this deck is going to be crazy. But grab your coffee, grab your device, and let's head on down to Game by the Beach. Welcome back once again, fellas. This is the deck we are going to be rocking for today. I've shown off this deck already this week, and I had to go back to it, guys. This deck is so much fun to play, and you can get massive wins against higher-level opponents than I ever thought was possible. We got our level nine cultist. We're gonna be jumping into a couple of games, seeing if we can show off the power of this deck, show off the power of cultist before the talents even come out, and maybe, just maybe, we can take out some high level competition. Let's jump right in and see how we do. Into the first game of the morning, and we have got ourselves a game. Okay, so, First off, this is a great start. This is a fantastic start. That right there is a very not good start. Let's not get it uh let's not get it twisted. That's a very not good start. So, I think the first thing I want to do is going to be to try and fill our board so that we're not just getting berated on this like one guy and this guy's also a great spot um just getting level down and level down and level down by his awakened sword because you don't want to deal with that but we've got ourselves a level 13 inquisitor and to be perfectly honest i'm more unhappy with seeing a level 9 sword than i am with seeing a level 13 inquisitor that's how much confidence i have in this deck it should be a bit of fun let's get it going so he's also got banner in there i absolutely love the version of this deck with banner or his deck with banner um i've never seen it live up to its hype i've i've played it i love banner i think it's so much fun to play eh, it never really does as well as i had hoped so you know i'm gonna take that as it as you will you know and uh, and just kind of go from there let's uh i'm gonna go there and here digging for a sword i guess these guys got hit by a couple swords so that's good i mean we've got a three over here that's decent maybe we'll just hang out with that guy for now until something cool happens that'd be kind of funny i'll just do that that works out we got a one right there we're gonna hit our gadget we're setting our board up pretty well the only so i don't know the best way to go about this because i understand sword works like scrapper you want to have as few units on your board to have the best chance to level up specific units to 10 stacks that's where you're going to thrive however if he's got an awakened sword which i now realize he does not have anymore um i want to fill my board so he's not just hitting me constantly with cultist you're also trying to set your board up oh yeah let's go let's go we spammed baby that was pretty funny all right we're gonna go here we're gonna go here all right we can do a little bit of this though we can do that that'll be nice he's got the wrong amount of inquisitors boom all right all right see now i'm wondering if these guys are kind of useless because they're only rank ones our board's already full which you don't want to have your board too full too fast we do have a couple of dryads here for things we could do i'll just do this for now oh shoot i uh as soon as i did that his um his ink quiz has disappeared that's okay i'll just do let's wait for an ink quiz he's spamming pretty heavy so we'll see what we can do here Obviously, we only have a three. That's not the best thing in the world, but we got Tamer next, so I'm not worried about that. I think I saw a six. I don't know if it was on his banner or on, or on him. He's got only the one Awakened Sword that benefits him. So that's not so bothersome. A um, little bit of a hiatus. We got some mana, too. Dude, this deck is so fun. I love playing Spam Cultist 
and actually making it work. So what's my play? As soon as I see him have an inquis... Okay. There we go. Took his shield down. Um... Hmm. I think the best thing to do would to be get these... Turn these guys into dryads. So I'm going to do that. I guess we'll do this. So awkward. Um, bitty, 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 bum, bitty, bum. I'm going to go up here. There we go. Okay. This is why I wanted to do this. Because now I don't have it as risky as it was before. So I can do that. Try and get a cultist there. Which would be really nice. Okay. I don't mind that so much. Can do that. I'm just going to do that because I'm still digging for a cultist. I'll do that. We're still just leaving that one spot open. Now we have our T, which is great. Okay. Can combine these out. Here he comes. Holy smokes. He just did a, bar a barrage, a barrage of, of nonsense. But look, we're actually in... Uh, I'm going to do that. Na, 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 na. Let's do that. Boom. Hit him with some stuff. Hit him with some stuff and some things, dude. All right, we're going to do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rank six cultist. Win or lose. This is already a better showing than the last video. After we finished that video, I, I was left... Just wanting to showcase this deck even more. Because it was just so much fun. And worked so well. Again, I'm not saying that we're going to win this match. Like, we probably shouldn't. But come on, guys. This is just a fun deck to play. Alright. Um, Let's go here. Keep trying to work on our swords. It's a little unfortunate. We'll do that. Okay, we can go... Why don't we do... This, that, don't really have a plan from there. Okay, we'll do that, I guess. Tribunal's coming in. I'll just hit that. We can do this and this. All right, risk it for the biscuit, baby. Actually, I can't do that right now because he doesn't even have any... He doesn't have any inquises on his board, so it would be completely useless, useless to merge that out right there. Two seconds, one second. We got a chance of taking this out before him or before it hits us. Oh, I think he actually was able to take it out, and we were not. All right, so I'm going to start with that. Okay, that's really good. This guy, the six stayed. That's huge. We can actually do this now. Let's do that. I see his. Okay. He's still got that inquis on his board. I see it. I see it. Bother him. Bother him, fellas. Bother him. We ranked down something. Okay, that's just a, a regular one. We're going here. We're going there. Bro, this this is so good. It, I still don't think we're gonna win. I don't I don't wanna say that. I still don't know if we're gonna win, but this is a good freaking setup, dude. Keep working. Keep working. Alright, alright. Um, I'll just do that for now. King Pudding will be brutal. Not for him. Oh, actually, he does have an Inquis on his board. He still has an Inquis on his board. Hit his Inquis. That's all I'm going to look at. Hit his Inquis. He didn't hit my rank 6. Yes! It hit his Inquis. He definitely should have tried to get rid of that. I don't know if he would have been able to or not, but... Him getting hit with that Pudding is pretty brutal. Let's do that right off the bat. We're going to go here. We're going to go over here. Is it going to matter? Probably not. He's having some trouble. Say it ain't so. I'm going to hit my banner lord right there. Slow him down. Come on. Don't give me false hope. That's, the, that's my one rule. If I'm going to lose, let me lose. Don't, don't give me false hope, my friends. 
We're killing things so much better than him, but it doesn't necessarily matter. Level him up. Uh, level up that. Come on. 317 seconds. Come on. There's a hit. And there is a victory. Hit him with the good game. Say what you will. Say that, uh, well, say that we've got about the same equipment. Say that I've got a thousand more crit than him. But tell me about a 13 in quiz against a level 9 cultist. Tell me about it. Okay, this is exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, crit aside, whatever. I hit him with a good game. I don't think he hit me back with a good game. But this cultist deck works. And it's so, so, so much fun to play. One win in the books. I'll take it however I can, right? Let's jump into one more game. I don't think the game can be any more hyped than that. But let's jump into one more game. See how we do. And see if we can get one more win with maybe my new favorite deck, guys. Jumping into the next game and look e <laughs> there. We actually, we're going up against a complete mirror match, except for a couple of things. A, he's got a couple higher leveled, uh, his, uh, I'll just do that, why not? Um, his, uh, his crit's a little higher and his card levels may or may not be a little bit higher as well because uh oops we should do that first because he's got a level 11 sword double power oh i'll do that why not hit him make him make him bothered guy make him bothered we're already at two give me that two i'm gonna do it this time because uh because i'm being greedy I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm being so stinking greedy, but we're already at four. Look at this start, dude. Look at this start. Okay, but this would be... If we could actually beat another Inquis deck... I mean, I would... I, I don't know. I would... I, I would just throw all my books at Cultus. Because I just... I believe in him now. That's what it's all about. He lacked belief. And now, as one... We're taking on the meta as the meta-ist deck you possibly could and winning. I don't know what else to say. Genuinely don't know what else to say. I'm going to, uh, I don't know. I got too many things in my head right now. Oh, okay. I want to use my drives and get rid of them so I can do that and get a higher level something. But at the same time, see that guy got hit twice right there. He's at four. Now he's at two. I think uh, I think the best plan of attack is is fill my board because he's just hitting me too much already. We've already gotten our guy to four, got him already back down to two. Not you know not necessarily would me having a full board protect him, but uh, at least we have a better chance for him to be protected. Warlock shouldn't stand a chance. Whoa, hey 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 hey, take him out. Oh boy, yeah. This one, now let me read it. I, I haven't even looked at it. Merging a blue sword has a 15% chance of boosting each target two times instead of one. Wild! Alright, let's go there for starters. I'm trying to get a cultist right there. We didn't get one, so let's just do this. Alright, we're gonna have to do that. Okay, don't mind that. Um, We've got options here. Ah! I'm going to do that. See if we can get a cultist in that spot. No, sir. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. I guess we're going for this guy to be a six, apparently. Let's see. I still want that spot, though. So we already could... No, not quite. We could almost already get him to a, a six. Now we've got a two right there. So that's really, really good. We're going to level him up one time. This is a really good spot to be in, okay? Couple more dryads, and we're in really tip top shape. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna do this. Couple more dryads will get this guy to a five. Oliver, Oliver, come here. Hey. He was eating something, fellas. You gotta watch the dog while you're also doing a video. Come here. What are you fearing at me for? What are you doing? Uh, let's see what we get. Okay, okay. I was about to use that that Harlequin on a Dryad, and I'm glad I didn't. I know, you're going to have to go out soon. All right, let's do this video. 
We got it. Puppeteer should be absolutely fine. And let's continue to get it going here. Tribunal's next? Come on. We're in such a good spot to take out Tribunal. Let's hopefully we can make it happen. Uh, I'm going to do this just to try and open up that spot. Perfect, dude. Literally perfect. Okay, we're going to go there. We're going to go, uh, well, kind of an awkward location here. We're going to do this followed by that. Followed by that. Perfect. Cultist. Everything's going our way. It does not mean we're going to win. It could mean that we're going to win, but it does not necessarily mean we're going to win. Just wanted to make that clear to everybody. We're going to hit our, our gadget. I think that's kind of where we stand for right now. We don't really have a whole lot of other plays to make. We've got our cultist to now max. We've got a six, one T. We're holding things off really, really well. We don't have any other rank one swords. Otherwise, I would rank those out immediately. But with Tribunal, again, there's a chance we take it out before it hits us. There's a probably a better chance that it won't. And it's going to be best to have mana than to be lacking. <laughs> you crazy boy. I don't know if they can hear you or not, but you crazy boy. Looking at you, bro. Here we go. He's got, he's leaving an Inquis on his board too. It took away his sword. We did not take a hit. 100% we did not take a hit. I guess we'll do this. We'll do that. Oh my gosh. Can we get something else, please? Holy smokes, dude. All right, there we go. Um, so we can at least do that. He doesn't have... All right, that's fine. Open up a spot for me, please. He's got a rank four on a rank four. Okay, there we go. Guess we're doing this. Beautiful. Right of mana, give me a sword. One sword, please. Eh, it doesn't matter anymore. It would have been nice, but it doesn't matter anymore. Jeez, dude, we're getting so many of these. Gonna have to go down here. That's a nice one. Ooh, another one? Come on, baby. Was that two bad ones? Okay, let's wait for him. Wait for him. Oh, perfect. Boom. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Oliver, come here. I know you gotta go out. Come here, come here. Come. Come here. Come. No? All right, bro beans. All right, well. Well, bud. Let me just lose this game real quick. Boom, another sword. Dude, our board looks so stinking good. But it's not going to matter, I don't think. We'll do that. We'll do this, level some more stuff up. We'll come down here. Um, we can do that. This, this. Assassin? Ooh, we're still going, baby. buddy all right so we're gonna have to do this that does he have any inquises wait for an inquis gadget i don't want to throw this game away that stinks that stinks holy smokes all right we'll do that Um, nothing else I can do right here. I can do that. I guess we could go here. Uh, do that. We get another one. We can do that. Um, I think we're pretty much just sunk at this point. 
Let's make it happen. Finish it out here. One second. He can spam a little bit. Dude, our board looked fantastic. This was a six, got ranked down. The one good thing, I guess, would be that we were able to um, get rid of the king pudding. It also had king pudding on him. We got rid of it, but this looks like a GG. He's sending bosses. We're getting ranked down. We're getting put to sleep. Gorgon. Uh, can we take it out? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Take it out. 1.4. And that is an L. Really, really unfortunate right there. Nothing more we could do. Level 14, level 11 sword. Better equipment than me, obviously. Only 2,200. I don't know what else we could have done. Again, trying to take down whales. It is what it is, even though we still have more crit than him. But guys, that is going to be the end of this YouTube video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.